It's been 16 days since schools have closed in parts of California due to the coronavirus pandemic, and many parents are entering the brave new world of homeschooling. It's different, and it requires a different way of thinking and expectation. What's the purpose here? To turn and work? Or for them to learn about this, for them to know it, for them to gain knowledge, and that's the purpose, and it's clicking? That's what matters. And you are not alone because we are in this together. Ago, my wife and I made the decision to homeschool our oldest son. Jack, now nine, and his brother Noah, who's seven, are both homeschooled. We're part of a homeschool charter school, so we have an advising teacher we meet with once a month, and the boys have um, enrichment classes they go to once a week. And when those were canceled, we were all pretty disappointed. They only had three weeks left. Um, of those classes before state testing started. Noah was very upset that he wasn't going to get to see his friends um, and get like a last class of the year to say goodbye to his friends. He was really upset. He was crying pretty hard. Little did we know that decision prepared us for today. But for many parents now, it's been decided for them and it's overwhelming. But it doesn't have to be. So at first too, something else I did was like, okay, here's our lesson, here's our worksheet, here's our worksheet, here's our worksheet, let's get through all these worksheets. Um, and I still use worksheets. You don't have to. You know, realizing things like that, that if you don't do a math worksheet today, that's okay. If you guys just talk about it, maybe play a game, especially with younger kids, um, you know, you can play games and are they understanding the concept of whatever you're trying to teach? Great. You don't necessarily have to do a worksheet and you can tailor it to how your kids learn. I just have to always remind myself, okay, what's the purpose here? To turn and work or for them to learn about this, for them to know it, for them to gain knowledge. And that's the purpose. So if they're doing that, it doesn't really matter how they're doing it. As long as they're understanding it and it's clicking, then that's what matters, not how much work we're getting done in a day. Are they learning? Did they have fun? Did you have fun too? It's, you have to be easy on yourself because you don't send them home. <laughs> okay, I could push and we could do more math and I could push a little harder, but how is the next hour and a half or two hours gonna go in our day if I push them? It's not gonna go well, so let's take a break. This is showing how mom has checked out, focusing on the puzzle. Tuning that out. <laughs> Making sure your day is peaceful is going to be a lot better in the long run. Your kid's mental state is going to matter a lot more in this time than how much schooling they're doing. Like when they look back on this when they're kids and remember this time, are they going to remember all of the math they did or are they going to remember how it felt in their home? But if they have a d bad day, that's okay. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a lot of bad days. It's okay to not do school one day because they, they aren't used to learning at home either. You know, this is not normal for them. I'm sure they miss their friends and that routine is totally different for them. It's not going to be the end of the world. You can reset tomorrow. Reset. 
tomorrow is a new day. And there's no better time to stop, to breathe, and to enjoy your family. Enjoy your kids. Enjoy this moment. Yeah.